So, today we're off to Hickstead. Um, they have the Al Shearer Jumping Championships this week. Unfortunately, I'm not doing the whole week because it's my birthday on Saturday. And it's currently, what, Thursday? Um, and I've gone out with my friends, I've gone out with my family. So I just didn't really want to be there for the whole weekend. And the thing is with Hicks, it's like, if you stay all the qualifiers are over like four days, three days or four days. And then the finals are on the last day, like the fifth day. And I just thought, I can't, I just can't do it. Like for once, just don't go to a show, Karis. Um, but we are there today. Just for the day with Brian um, I'm not I'm not bringing Ryan along because there just wasn't really classes to suit him today on surface and um, we could have jumped the 110 amateur but it's a bit of a rat race um everyone just kind of galloped around because it's the main ring qualifier so yeah I was just like it's not really a point to be honest um and plus he's a bit weird about being on the lorry by himself and at Hicks did the arenas are so far away from the lorries. I just can't trust leaving him on the lorry by himself without anyone there to look after him. So yeah, he's not come in. We just got a chill day with Brian. Um, luckily, I'm drawn towards the end of my class. There is 190 in the 110. I'm doing the 110 and the 120 because I thought we don't really like traveling to a show to do one class. So I just put them in the 110 as well as like a warm up. Um, yeah, I'm 154th out of 185. Um, that's a lot of people to be in the class. Luckily, it, so it starts at 8 o'clock this morning. I'm not jumping in until just after 1. Um, so we're going to get there for about 12 because I'm not going to walk the course, obviously. Um, get there for 12. I'll put my massage pad on, go over, walk the course. Well, I won't walk the course. I'll watch some to learn the course. Come back, tack him up, get on him. And yeah, go and do it. Um, and then my friend, luckily, Scarlett is a legend. She's going to put my number down for the 120 because you have to put your numbers down for that one. And um, she's going to put me towards the start. So we can hopefully not be there for too long and then we can get home. And yeah, maybe we can go out in the field for a bit more. We'll see how we do. Um, but let me just show you what we pack. So I've shown in the lorry for him in case he needs to go away. Uh, I've got a hay net there. There's a fork, some skips and another hay net over the back. Um, and also his ice boots over the back as well. Then the lockers, just the usual going on in here. So grooming kit, hoof oil, some oil to make his nose all shiny, fly valve. So I bought the Ecro one and my other Kentucky one from Ecro, but this is just a brown one. His bridle, well, actually it's Ryan's bridle, but I'm missing it for him, with his Ovosa blinkers, which are from Ecro. You can use my code Keris10 for 10% off. Uh, buckets for mash and to wash him off with. The mash is in here. Oh, I need a whip. I need to put my whip. Uh, massage pad to put on him before I get on. Some ice gel, some muscle slosh. Some baby powder to put on his legs um, and any like cut stuff in case he gets any cuts. Uh, boots are here, girth, saddle, half pads and then saddle pads. I'm bringing the Saracens one and the Aventus one today. I better go get my crop. Um, the boys are just having their morning hay now. Um, Brian's looking all clean. I gave him a bath yesterday. Um, here he is. I gave him a bath. Hey, Brazy. So he's looking very clean. I plaited his, um, I plaited it. I'd done his mane over because it was a little bit messy. He's all clean, although, knowing my luck, I'm going to put him out in the field because obviously we're not leaving until, oh yeah, we're leaving at about 10 to 11. Um, so because we're not leaving until then, I'm going to put him out in the field for some grass for an hour or so. But knowing my luck, I've cleaned him. He's just going to get down again. So my plan is, is to bring him in at about 10 which gives me enough time to wash him again if he needs it, which he probably will need it. Um, I've got my whip, can't forget my whip. Um, so yeah, that is what's going on currently. My friend Lily is coming with us as well. She's usually my good luck charm, so fingers crossed, she's my good luck charm today. So I close up to get the sun away from it. But yeah, currently that is Everything I'm just gonna quickly get the boys ready to put them out in the field for a bit. Um and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I need to get changed too, some of my pajamas. So we are off to put the boys out. 
Here they are. Brian hasn't got a rug on. Brian has to try and stop him from getting dirty. So they go out in the new fields. So the boys are out, enjoying some grass. I'm gonna go and muck out now. I'm gonna go and muck out, do some chores, go in, have some breakfast, get changed. And then, yeah, we'll see you guys. Off to go and get the boys in. Ryan's gonna work, go back in the old field um, because the grass is a bit rich in here from staying all day. And Brian's going to come in and hopefully be cleaned again because I bathed him yesterday and he's covered in poo. Come on, Brian. I'm gonna bring you guys in, sorry. We are ready to leave. Look more impressed, Brizey. Walking up to the arena now, it's a bit of a rush. Um, I think I've literally got like barely a knee, but I'm trying not to stress. I'm just gonna let him have a walk and yeah. Get up, good boy. Get up, good boy. Oh, it's one more. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, look, the timer's not working again. And that was clearing 33 Which goes into the lead at the moment. Woo! A horse. He is in the lead in the 110. So, so happy with him, honestly. He jumped really good. I rode him like crap. So, yeah, really happy. I'm back to the lorry now to untack him and let him have a wash off before the 120. But fingers crossed, I was 160 thin. So, fingers crossed, we've qualified. So, yeah, we'll see. He wants to be in the vlog. Hi! Brian, don't Hello. care! Welcome to Kirsten's vlog, this is Brian. Everyone knows who Brian is. Sorry for the lack in updates, 
Uh, so busy. Um, Brian just had a pole in the 120 qualifier. Uh, he just had the plate down, as you'd have seen. Really frustrating as he jumped so much better than he did in the 110. And it was so unlucky. Um, so yeah, really frustrating. Yeah, really annoying. Oh. Only Brizey wouldn't want to be out in the field when we get home. Do you really want to come in that badly? Anyway, we are home from Hickstead, as you can see. Uh, I did put him out in the field for some grass, but he doesn't want to be out here. So I'm just going to get him in. Um, and yeah, really, really happy with him. I was just going to obviously vlog today, but where we've got into the main ring, I'm going to continue this vlog on to Saturday, which will be my birthday. So yeah, really, really excited for that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys for a continuation on Saturday. We are back. Hello, Mr. Ryan. Oh, I can't find you. We are... Um, Currently, I've got Brian. Um, I packed the lorry again. Um, so yeah, I've just bathed Brian. Currently, Nan's just cleaning out his stud holes so he can re cotton wool them. So it's easier to just put the studs in tomorrow to jump. Um, the studs are here to pack in a second. So I'm just going to show you what I packed in the lorry. I'll show you Brian and yeah. Boy. Boy. <laughs> Pretty much just packed the same as yesterday. Not much different. Um, just changed the saddle pads, so I'm just gonna wear my dad's saddle pad, which is the Mormac Group one, um, which is burgundy. Pretty much packed exactly the same otherwise. And then I'm just using the Kentucky Fly Vowel from Equicro, this gorgeous one here, um, and then I've recleaned all my tack as well. And then obviously, I've got just got all my grooming stuff. So, I mean, yeah, not much has changed really from the other day's packing, but fingers crossed. We are bathed, platted. And bandaged, ready for Hicksy tomorrow. Good boy, Brizzy. So we've just got back from dinner. I thought I'd update you guys. Hey, Brizzy. Here's Brizzy. All snuggled, buggled. We are leaving tomorrow at half seven um, to get for Hick to get to Hicksy for half eight. My class starts at half nine, so it gives us an hour for me to walk the course. Uh, get him looking all pretty, stud him up. I'm eight thin, as I just said, out of about 30. So fingers crossed it goes well. Um, if it doesn't, then it doesn't. You know, it's just luck on the day. But hopefully he jumps well. I'm really, really keeping everything crossed. Um, hoping that maybe because we've come home in between, he's gone out in the field and stuff, he'll be a little bit more ready to jump as such. Won't be as, like, tight because he won't be stuck in his stable like he would be at the show. Um, here is my mic. Hi. He's like, I'm not interested. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys bright and early in the morning to leave. Luckily, I haven't really got much to do. So, hey, baby. So I'm just going to literally give him a quick clean up in the morning, get any like poo and stuff off of him quickly of a sponge, um, muck him out and stuff, and then we'll literally be off. So yeah, keep, my, keep me in your prayers. I mean, by the time you see this, it'll be done. But fingers crossed. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is my birthday, um, I'm 20 today, it is my birthday today, um, stop wagging your tail, um, I'm 20, a bit old to be quite honest, um, but yeah, really excited and nervous for today, really hoping that, that Brian jumps well, if he doesn't, he doesn't, It'll be gutting, but you know, they're horses, so at the end of the day, they're not machines, they will have off days. But let's hope today isn't an off day. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go over now and feed. It's currently like six o'clock, we're leaving at half seven, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that quickly and make sure we've got our stuff ready. So yeah, wow, the weather couldn't be more horrible on my birthday. It is raining and foggy, 
So that's lovely. Honestly, how difficult. Oh, it's meant to be nice today. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Are you ready to get texted? Oh, Bryce is ready to leave. Are you tired? Mm. Ready to go. Bryce. Next has been in fabulous form, especially at Kiso, that two-star international in the uh, two-star classes. They had a win and a second over the uh, couple of days they were jumping there. This is Apart EA, Kenneth Whitney. guys so i didn't finish that vlog um i was pathetic basically so obviously we qualified for the main ring as you would have seen i jumped in the main ring um unfortunately didn't go clear in the first round um and afterwards i was gutted um yeah i was just in a bit of a rut um it was my birthday obviously and I just really, really, really wanted that clear in the first round and I just felt really good about it. Like, sometimes I get these good feelings about shows and I just had this really good feeling about it. So I was really hoping that we were going to get that clear. We've been lucky enough to qualify now for the main ring five times. This was the fifth time and we'd never gone clear. We've always had a pole. Um, so I was just hoping we would that we would get it. Um, and there was a lot of pressure on myself to do that clear um, especially on my birthday so when we didn't and when he had the pole i was absolutely devastated um and it seems like i don't want to sound like a sport brat i really like at the time i was just so upset now i'm looking back at it i'm like was being a bit of a brat um because like a lot of people haven't even qualified to jump in that arena so i should just be over the moon to have even qualified which i am um but it's just like you do the qualification to get in there and like the goal is to do well. Um, and like the first couple of times you get in there, it's just experience. And after that, like you want to do well, like you want to be able to do well. Like this is why we do the show jumping. We do show jumping because we love horses, but also for the thrill of doing well. Like you don't just ride horses and do shows to do badly. Like it doesn't work like that. Um, so yeah, I was really, really upset. Um, I had a bit of a meltdown. Um, I was just really disappointed. Um, so yeah, I didn't film anything after that. Like as soon as I jumped and we didn't go clear, I was just so upset. I just, we went back to the lorry, got him ready and went straight home. Like that was it. Um, and I really just was not in the mood to finish the vlog. Um, I was just really feeling shitty for myself. I was really feeling bad for myself. Um, now I'm kind of over it a bit more. Um, but yeah, at the time I just didn't want to finish the vlog. I just, I didn't think I was even gonna add the last day into the vlog, but I've obviously decided to, um, because it just doesn't make sense otherwise. So yeah, um, sorry for like a really bad ending, but sometimes you just don't wanna 
fit like I just didn't want to video it I just didn't want to video myself I didn't want to video anything after that like I just had had enough and I just wanted to come home and yeah um for the rest of the day I just felt a bit crappy um I just don't think that he likes jumping in that arena because like I've had quite a few friends and stuff that have jumped in there and have done really well and go clear and the horses jump really nice in there and he's just not like that like he wins, obviously, you guys know. He wins everything on surface. Like, that horse is an absolute gem. Um, but whenever I jump him in there, he's just quite sticky. And he just quite jumps quite flat. Like, he doesn't jump, like, himself. Um, I just don't think he likes it, which is absolutely gutting. Because, obviously, it's the best surface. It's the best grass surface in the country. Like, so for him not to like it is a bit strange. Um... I just don't really think that he likes grass. Um, we don't jump on grass at all throughout the year, other than when I go to Hickstead if I qualify for the main ring. Um, so he literally jumps on grass once a year, and that is it, max. Um, so I don't think he really likes it. I don't think he feels very comfortable in it. So I'm not really sure if we will try and qualify again. Um, maybe we'll try and do the September one if we go to the show and just see how he is. But if it doesn't go well again, then I think I'll just give up after that because... He definitely doesn't jump as well on the grass. I don't know if he feels as comfortable on the grass. So yeah, um, I've just been going on now for like three, three minutes and I need to shut up. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, really happy with him otherwise. He jumped really well on the Thursday, qualifying for the main ring. Um, just got unlucky in the 120s you've seen. Um, but yeah, feeling a bit more positive now. Um, we are off to Parkham on Thursday with Ryan. Um, so really excited for that. He's jumping the newcomers and the six-year-olds, so that'll be the next vlog. Um, and then the week afterwards, we're off to Bowlesworth International with both boys. Um, Ryan's jumping the six-year-olds with me this time, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. And Brian is jumping the amateur classes, so fingers crossed they jump well on that because it's on surface. And Bowlesworth is an incredible venue, and I've been wanting to compete there for years, so really, really excited for that. So yeah. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon and thank you for watching.